Hi, everybody, and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is another episode of the Rhythmic Gymnastics, guys. What's Let's up, see. everybody? <laughs> I'm Mikey Tonko Woodruff, and I'm so glad that my best friend, Ole, from California can join us. Ole, yay. Introduce yourself, Mr. Man. What's up? I'm Damon. Nice to nice to virtually connect with you guys. Yes. Sending everybody love. Hope everybody's safe. Yes, and this is our post Thanksgiving video, and the European Championships just concluded a few hours ago. Okay. And we have a new European champion who I predicted last week. If you don't remember, Lenoy Ashram is our new European champion, and my backup European champion, Alina Arnashko, was tied with her and she lost on the tiebreaker. I'm you sorry. knew Lenoy was going to win. Yeah, and I knew Alina Arnashko. It was her time. It's her. She was ready. She was peaking at just the right moment. But I kind of feel sorry that Katsyarina Hakina is kind of forgotten now. That the, there's two strong Bella Russians. That I are, don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I, have, I still have my face in Katya. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm just had the Olympics happened. I'm pretty sure Salos and um, Hakina would have been the Olympic team. But now that Alina has got so much momentum and has such difficult routines. I think it's gonna be. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just posted a video on my Instagram. I know, I saw like, it. It's like I a split it. shot of yes. her club's routine in the beginning of the season and her mm -hmm. club's routine now. Yes. She added so many new elements. Yes. Um, it's pretty incredible. Um, Fantastic, yes, and so much difficulty. And even the commentator um, that was doing the um, European Championships commentary, um, all of, yeah, Oliver Hoppin, he even noticed how much more difficulty both Belarusian gymnasts had in their routines from the beginning yeah. of the year. So yeah, it's, it's just so nice to have a real tournament with somewhat actual people. And I saw that after the kiss and cry or after the gymnasts were waiting in the kiss and cry, they were sanitizing it and wiping it down after every gymnast. So I'm, I'm glad that they were taking some precautions and your girl Vlada, she withdrew in the middle of the week and then she came back. So. Well, bet you didn't think you'd see this. What intensity from Vlada Nikolchenko as she comes out onto the floor. She was withdrawn from the competition, then reinstated. She so it was, I am not complaining about her placement. I'm just happy that she was able to get four routines out there. And yeah, it, it's, it's just, she can only go up from here, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm I really excited. wanted her to compete, and I, I was crushed that they pulled her out, but yeah. it was great to see her. At the um, last second, she was back. At the last second, I was like, oh, yeah. what a, hi. Yeah. I didn't know you were here. I know. I was <laughs> it's, like she, it's like she showed up at my house. I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> I know. Like during the broadcast when Vladek walked out, we were like, what? Okay, wait. Yes. Can I talk about something really important? Absolutely, I, yes. I know Thanksgiving is an American holiday, and it's not celebrated in different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I really want to talk about something very important, which is turkey. Yes. <laughs> not the bird. Not, not the, the bird, bird, but the country. <laughs> not the bird. What happened? Yeah. That I was like, the Turkish I saw the world. results and I was like, is this the qualifications? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. I'm so glad that they won. Yes. Turkey did such a great job and they were kicking butt. And even the individuals, both the individuals and the groups were doing so great. And I'm so happy to see them do well. So yeah, Turkey is yeah. on the up and up right now. And yeah, I did you get a chance to see Camelia Tunso, her ribbon routine? Oh, I did not. Oh, it was it was her very last performance and when she was done she just gave the biggest fist pump and she was just so proud and happy that she made a final at a european championships and she did amazing so yeah yes i didn't get to watch the whole all-around final i just watched um the highlights i kind of skimmed oh yeah through. okay I, yeah i just haven't had three hours to sit down yet <laughs> <laughs> well but i will first of all do you want to talk about the juniors Sure. Let's talk about the juniors because the the ones that I was really impressed with was Stiliana Nikolova. 
she won the ribbon final, but her ball routine is what I want to share with you guys. Cause I don't know if you got a chance to see it yet, but I did watch the new nurse. Yeah. She did a remix of all about that bass <laughs> by Megan Trainer for her ball routine. And she was just sass for days. It, it was the cute, it, the face that she has is so cute. She is gorgeous. And to come by, she's going to be a deadly combo in, in the future. So um, we'll start off with Stiliana Nikolova. Every time I see junior competition or just a junior in particular in general, I um, cannot believe the maturity of their movements. I know. Like you forget, like if I saw these girls like on the street, I'd be like, hey, do you watch cartoons? <laughs> <laughs> right? Are you even- because They're, they're little girls. They're, yeah. And it's just like, look how big the ball is compared to her head. I know. It's I know. like, oh my gosh. Just, and this is a junior size ball. <laughs> just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, and she's got such great personality, even just the walking onto the carpet. Because you know I'm all about that bitch, about that bitch, no trouble. I'm all about that bitch, about that bitch, no trouble. I'm all about that bitch, no trouble. I'm all about that bitch, about that bitch. Oh, and such, look at how she stayed up on Releve on that ponche turn. How old is she? I, I think she's got to be like 11 or 12. Oh my gosh. No. And her walkover is actually better than Nikolchenko's. I mean, don't yeah. get me started. Don't get me started <laughs> on Nikolchenko's walkovers. Oh. oh my gosh, beautiful. Yes. That looks like a Chakot ball. Yeah, I think so with the neon, the neon Chakot ball. I think I have that. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it perfectly complements her leotard because her leotard has the neon on it too. <gasps> there it is. is it? Yes. Oh my gosh. I know. That was great. Wasn't that beautiful? I love this remix. I think it's awesome. I know. And it just, it's so perfect for her. She interprets it so well. Ah. Wow. Blowing a kiss to the judges at the end. And look at that face. She is so oh my gorgeous. Gosh. She's so cute. Ugh. That's crazy. Yes. <sighs> yeah. So she actually got the silver medal with that ball routine. So um, she is a multi multiple medalist at this European championship. She should be very proud of that. Um, let me just share that screen with y'all. So yes, by we're doing by apparatus. Oh, so you got the scores up too. I have the scores up. Yes. So um, you can see she did not make the rope final. Her teammate did, but in the ball final, she got the silver medal. Okay, let's so, talk about the rope real quick. Yes. Let's Don't talk get about me wrong. the rope. I love the rope. I cannot see what's happening. I know, and that's a lot of the reason why the senior gymnasts don't do it because of the broadcast. People it can't looks, see what's happening. It looks like they're doing freehand. Yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah. What? I, I, I wish they would maybe get a thicker rope and only mm. in certain colors and it like has to coincide with the carpet color. I don't know. There's... Yeah, I know. Well, I, I know just for now, I know that all of the floors are probably going to be beige from now on. So yeah. find a color that doesn't blend in with the beige. Because <laughs> the thing is, the backgrounds of every competition is going to be so different. Like this one was dark. And then there was the one in Sofia, Bulgaria, which was like gold. So it, yeah. It, yeah, it was just, it's so different for every competition. But don't get a rope that blends in with a beige. <laughs> or get a multicolored <laughs> rope. <laughs> so, you, wow. it's, really hard, it's really hard for me to see. I don't know about for you, but to see all the criteria and all the apparatus difficulties. And it's like, yeah. I can't really see if it's like under the leg or mm -hmm. outside of field of vision. I'm like, yeah, because I can't see the end of the rope. So yeah, 
especially with the okay. juniors who are less mature corking it <laughs> and yeah you don't they don't really have a strong apparatus technique as the seniors and the seniors don't get a chance to do the rope but it's a little, it was a little noodly this year yeah There's a lot of noodles yeah but it's just <laughs> i'm glad to see the rope back in competition which is great i so, thought it was done yeah uh, for seniors it's it, it hasn't come back yet just for yeah. senior just for senior groups it's come back but not senior individuals no but i mean I yeah yes the juniors who put the apparatus on their bun like the girl who's been punchy right now yeah it's amazing yeah <laughs> like whenever they they put it um and then they spin around and it like it just holds there i'm just like girl where is that mastery come from girl fix your wig let's go <laughs> <laughs> yeah but is it the cool new things that have developed since rope was eliminated is kind of cool to see and I'm really glad yeah. to see the advancements. So. For sure. All right. So moving on to some more results. The junior clubs was won by Daria Atamanov, who I actually want to talk about with her ribbon because her ribbon was full on share and it was a share remix. And when I heard it, I my head almost exploded. Yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't heard the song in so long, but she actually um, won the bronze medal with it. And um, she's the one that I want to highlight for the junior ribbon routine. From Israel, her ribbon routine, which I want to just talk about Israel for a second. Shout out to their team. They won so many medals throughout the juniors, the groups and the seniors. And yeah, very proud. <laughs> I yeah, I especially with Lenoy Ashram ending the competition, or not ending the competition with Ribbon, but doing her Ribbon routine to have a Nagila remix. I was like, heck yeah, folk Jewish music. I, I was all about it. But speaking of Ribbon routine, we're going to watch Daria Atamanov and her Ribbon routine. Um, how about Oi. now? Oh, <laughs> we all saw that. <laughs> Can you see my screen now? I can. Yeah, this routine to share, my head almost exploded. Yes. And this was a song I hadn't heard in so long. And to have one of the junior girls interpret it. I love her ribbon. Yes, it's such a beautiful color too. It's like her rainbow ribbon and Cher is like, who's your coach? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. It's your coach, David Mayeda. <laughs> who, who choreographs over there? <laughs> and that shimmy right there with the ribbon was perfect. You better work, you 12-year-old. Yes. She is so fabulous and so fierce. Oh. She's so gorgeous. Better than a lot of the seniors. Yeah, such great ribbon technique. That ribbon is moving. It is, there's no dead ribbon in that. <laughs> Even when she gets set up to do a foot toss, that last foot toss, the ribbon never stopped moving. It never, it didn't just like drift. That was an amazing routine. So fierce. I, I am... cannot stand her leotard, but that oh. was an amazing routine. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely fabulous. So. We're impressed by the juniors. I cannot, I, I'm so excited about the future of rhythmic gymnastics and what they have to offer in this next cycle. I think a few of them hopefully will be old enough to be in this Olympic cycle, but they might not even be old enough until 2025 to, to see them yeah. in the seniors, but yeah, very excited. Anyway, so moving on. Um, Let's talk about as a, actually, let's talk about the senior routines, um, the senior gymnasts. So first, yes. 
big big shout out to Lenoy Ashram. Girl, you made me proud. Thank you for making my prediction come through come true from last yeah, thank week. Yeah, thank you for proving Mikey right. That's all yeah. he cares about. <laughs> Yes. I didn't know anything about your win. Yes. <laughs> that's all I. That's all I'm but proud about. He just wants everyone to know that he was right. Yes. yes. And also, Alina, I'm proud of you for tying her because you made two of my predictions right. Oh my gosh, Alina! I can't even. Yes. The and whole time I was like, Alina, the ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow that was some good breath control yeah uh, i was cheering yeah yeah, yeah. good lung mm -hmm. capacity yes yeah, 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 you know. as as anastasia salos puts your her hand over your back. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but she, i gotta give it to her she had the highest score of the meet it was a 26.550 for clubs and Dude, deserved well deserved yeah she has she has matured so much this year especially yeah. with her ball routine when i saw her ball in the beginning of the season i was like what is this but now i was like <laughs> yeah oh she's like giving me like maleficent right now yeah like, exactly she, especially she, with that leotard with the feathers like um yeah, like making, going up to her neck yes she's making my face melt off <laughs> <laughs> she's like it was incredible all of her rolls were super smooth too yeah yeah yes yes uh, i don't even know it was beautiful girl's been girl's been working hard during lockdown so <laughs> she should be yeah. proud of herself i think she she was probably at home for about a month or two just rolling 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 <laughs> i really Kinda wanted her to win but she's still young she has a lot of time to come oh yeah and, um i think it's, it's lenoy's turn right now it was lenoy's turn yeah yeah it's just she's been third and second so many times at the avarinas <laughs> and it's just and i'm glad that she's been silver medalist at world championships in the all around when she beat Sold soldatova but yeah it, it was definitely her time and i i'm very excited hopefully she builds on this momentum for tokyo and continues yeah. on and i hope she keeps these routines as well that hoop routine some yeah. of her catches i was like whoa yeah uh i don't even know yeah, like, and like she'll catch in a walk over on her foot and keep the hoop rolling. <laughs> it was just, just so much control. It was nonstop. Yeah. And, um, yes. And I don't even know. She did this one catch. She caught it in a walk over and her hand was completely stretched and she just got it. She just yeah. like closed her hand like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all she did. Yeah. And I, yeah, I was just kind of blown away. Yeah. And I've been loving that she used christina aguilera for ball hurt that's such a great song mm -hmm. for ball and then she used beyonce <laughs> or um a, a medley of really strong fierce women songs <laughs> girl power songs for clubs and yeah, yeah um ah, i i'm just so proud of lenoy and so, so proud you're great yeah. to see somebody from a different country yes. <laughs> it, especially a country that's never won before yeah, and that's the, the even better part is Israel made so much history with all of the medals that they've won, both in the team, the group and the juniors and the seniors. And just they are the group all around champions and the individual all around champions. So speaking of which, let's look at some of the results. There it is. Oh, and also speaking of one of the juniors, I was very proud to see Annalisa Dragan from Romania. She made three of the four finals. She made the rope final, the uh, clubs final, and the ribbon final. And I don't know if you know her history, but she is from Irvine, California, and she used to compete for the US. <laughs> Annalisa Dragan. So she competed for Romania at this championships. Yeah, and she was tired of people saying, what are those baton thingies? <laughs> She's like, you know what, guys? I want to go to another country and I'm going to slay. So I'll be yes, back. Exactly. But <laughs> I'm still I, coming back for the holidays, but yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> and enjoy Thanksgiving. But, yeah. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the 1984 Olympics as well. There was Alina Dragan, which I don't know if there's any relation to her, but I think she placed fourth or fifth at the 1984 Olympics in Rhythm. The only Romanian I remember is, Alina, is um, Stoica. Oh yeah, Alina Stoy, the silver medalist. 
Yeah, that's yeah. The only, that's the only other Romanian I remember. Yeah, I was I knew that she could have beaten Lori Fung, but then the ribbon wrapped around her <laughs> ponytail. <laughs> Cause I don't know if you saw some of the videos from 84, but that air conditioning was whack. You could see even when they went up for their starting positions, the ribbon was blowing everywhere. So they had no control over that air conditioning at Poly Pavilion in 84. And that made me so mad. <laughs> But uh, they had, they didn't know anymore. They didn't know. They didn't know any better. And plus, they still had a wooden floor at those Olympics. They had two carpets and a wooden floor for that Olympics. But continuing on to Kiev 2020, very excited. So here are the all-around results. The here's the top eleven. And looking down this list, the name that strikes me the most is Zora Agamirova of Azerbaijan, and actually all of Azerbaijan with their fashion statements at this um, European championships because they went old school. They went old school, no sequins, just solid colors for this. And this was, um, this was Zora Agamirova's ball routine, which if you look, I'm gonna pause this and we are gonna look at Alexander Timoshenko's ball routine. Deed in his <laughs> And you can see the civil war. Yes. Oh my god. In 1992. My, my, clubs, my clubs are literally turned from rubber to wood. <laughs> and went back to wood. <laughs> and they have to be painted. I so, love yes. Timoshenko. Yes, Timoshenko. Well, she had it, she had so many um, advancements for this sport because she was really one of the first ones that did a develop a right to the side 180 with no assistance no hand holding that her, her leg and she had the sideways timoshenko move which is that alice acombed um let me see if we can get to one over here zora agamirova not that one this particular leotard oh yeah that's totally costina yes so both Kostina and Timoshenko have worn these. And um, in 2008, also, Natalia Godonko wore a variation of this for her. Probably the same person that's making them. Yep. But I, I'm just so, so surprised to see a competitive elite senior gymnast from one of the former Soviet republics not have a single sequin on her leotard. And it wasn't just her either. So yeah, here was Kostina's. Kostina's ball routine <laughs> that she wore that leotard on. So beautiful. And Timoshenko wearing, wearing it as well for the 88 Olympics. Good. They don't need to put the emblem of their country on their leotard anymore, do they? Um, no, they still do. Because if Where? you look... If you look, they have the flags, the flags of the countries. Buried in sequins. Yeah, exactly. They, they will always have like, um, if you look at Zora Agamirova's leotard here, can you see it? There it is right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then on her other one. You'll see it right there. It's, it's on her, I guess her, hip that's that's her hip <laughs> or her waist it's her waist but look at the azerbaijan team also going way old school with their just solid black leotard when i saw them walk onto the carpet i was like oh my gosh no i what? thought they like wheeled in the piano and it was gonna start to be like, <laughs> 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 their entrance music to the carpet yeah i was just so impressed by them and i was so happy to see them do really well at yeah it was really point. incredible to see their routine and just to see oh. the development of all these other countries that really might not have been highlighted if russia was there the countries and <laughs> yeah. russia was there yeah exactly yeah. exactly so I, I just want to thank this particular uploader, um, Rhythmic Gymnastics, whoever you are. I need to, I'm subscribing to you right now. All of your videos are amazing. Thank you for letting us 
um, enjoy the coverage that you've um, captured because all of the commentary was in English and I could understand it. So Absolutely. Yes. And yeah, so fashion statement. Thoughts, Mr. Maeda. Well, do, okay. So I read an interview with the head coach and they're like, why are we going to spend $450 per leotard? We'll just do something with no sequence and spend ten ninety nine. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. So Mariana Vasilyeva from Bulgaria is their head coach. She's the one who smacks them in the butt. <laughs> like every, before every single routine. Have you noticed that? Uh, her smacking people in the butt like Dorinda? Yes. Yes, exactly. She just smacks them. And then the group also, she'll smack every single per every yeah. single group member just before they take on the carpet. She's fabulous. She is basically the Irina Wiener of Azerbaijan. Sunglasses and everything. Yeah, because it's super <laughs> it's Irina. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I was just super impressed. I loved seeing this. And just taking gymnastics back to a simpler time even though all of the choreography and all of the difficulties that are in a routine just have just let the gymnastics do the talking instead of just being blinded by rhinestones although i still love my sparkle <laughs> i still love my sparkle i don't know if y'all can see it on my skate blade on my jacket but it, it, it actually has rhinestones on it right there see it oh, hey. <laughs> so i still do love my sparkle all right, well, continuing on, let's highlight some of the individual gymnasts. Do you have any in particular, Mr. Mayera? That I want to highlight? Yes. Yes. Ekaterina Vilinieva. From, yes, from Slovenia. With her clubs, okay. from Slovenia, like disco, Bahama Mama. Yes. Um, uh, when I heard the music. I, yeah, I yeah. was just like my heart started to pump and um i'd seen that routine before but every time i see it i'm like oh my gosh yes so yeah. much <laughs> uh, so much fierceness in that routine too yeah yes. Eva. Yes. Yeah. hey you know i was um watching the beginning the first part of the all around when it first launched and they had a lot of the people from other countries that were not in the finals oh yeah some people, some people scored 5.1 and like oh, 7. really six yeah for oh. their for their clubs seven 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 like and that was the like, total or that was the difficulty that was the total difficulty was 3.6 oh yeah 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 so it really I'm not trying to discredit their gymnastics, but I'm just yeah. saying that it really made me was like, whoa, those finalists, like, yeah. I don't even, it, it, they're in like another league, but it yeah. was incredible to see. I mean, it's kind of like seeing Angola. It's like, mm -hmm. they're coming from a country where maybe it's with less developed, not super, yeah, it's not developed and they don't mm -hmm. start them when they're little kids. Yeah. So it's great to see like, different types of gymnasts with different body types and yeah. different types of elements as a different skill levels different skill levels i guess yeah, too for because sure it's not always about even though i love like the best of the best it's good to see yeah. all different types you know yeah. so. and just being able to have like a basis a foundation for the next generation of gymnasts to grow on and it's great absolutely to see. yeah, yeah. For absolutely sure. All right. Well, without further ado, let's do some Bahama Mama <laughs> with oh Ekaterina Vedenieva. Oh let's gosh. share the screen. I'm going to be her for Halloween and there's going to be <laughs> yes. I'm gonna, like, get her clubs, get the leotard, and this is going to be my Halloween. You, are, you already yeah. have the clubs with the neon, the Pastorelli <laughs> neon clubs. This you already true. have it. This yes. is true. And even the way she just walks onto the carpet, she's got so much confidence. She was last, huh? Well, yep. This has been one of the most remarkable European championships. And I love Oliver Hoppin's voice. He's a great commentator. Katarina Vedenieva of Slovenia with the clubs. Oh my God. You better work. Yes. <laughs> Look at her pivot. Oh, it, so God. stretched, so arched up on that releve. 
Those dance steps, though. Yeah. Oish. I love when people put flexed foot dance steps in it. Yeah, because there's so much pointed toes, so much releve. <laughs> nice to mix it up a bit. I, I remember Teodora Alexandrova did that a lot. A lot of the flexed foot stuff. You can't okay. help but smile in this so routine. What are you going to say? I just wanted to be a little critical. OK. So, oh my gosh, look it at that pivot. Stays up on Relevé, girl. So by general consensus, people have mixed feelings about Lenoy. And I've been trying oh, yeah. to figure out why she's not my favorite. Mm -hmm. And it's not that she's not beautiful. Her, her gymnastics is not beautiful. Yeah. I think um, I figured it out. Okay. That, As you're watching Vedinieva <laughs> shaking yeah. her Bahama Mama. <laughs> uh, Linoy has so much difficulty. She doesn't have time to engage with eye contact with the judges, I feel yeah. like, as much as other gymnasts, mm -hmm. uh, because she has so much difficulty packed in. So I was kind of looking at her routines for this European Championships, and um, yeah. I yeah. Mean, it's one difficulty after another. And, it is. Uh, her, I know. her routines are jam-packed. Yeah. But that's the that's the thing about this code of points is that you, you can't deny the numbers in her execution because that she I know, executes but... so well. And yeah, it's it's hard to make that connection. It's that connect emotional connection. I totally agree. That's why the code of points in some way doesn't make sense for me because you get somebody's routine like Linoy, her hoop, Mm -hmm. And then you get Salos, her hoop, and it's like totally different categories. Like, yeah. I don't even yeah. know how they get judged together, but I guess that's the beauty of gymnastics. Yeah. And what was the point difference between Salos's hoop? Uh, she got a 16.2 for difficulty and a 17.2 for Lenoy for that, yeah. for her, for their hoop routine. So there's that one point of difficulty difference that I think Salos took for um for artist for artistry instead of just packing it all in for her i mean that's the thing about belarus They've, they always do these like weird ass elements where they don't really need to do it but they mm. do it because that's just their style yeah that's and the belarusian style for sure i wish they got rewarded a bit more for it because yeah. you know i mean yeah i know i know yeah. i i completely get that Yes. I gotta keep whining sometimes when I watch people from Belarus because I'm like, what exactly is happening? <laughs> like, I, <laughs> like, I, like, I have to look really close. I'm like, what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's so unique. I've never seen it before. And you probably never, will never yeah. see it on any other gymnast either. I know. That's the thing yeah. with the Belarusians. Um, well, we're going to end this with the champion. Well, actually, no. We, we'll do Arnashko and... Um, Ashram. So what's your favorite Harnashko routine from 2020? Clubs, clubs, clubs. clubs. Of course, yes. The yeah. highest scoring one, of course. We have to highlight that. Yeah. Because it's literally the highest score in the entire competition. So. Yeah. All right. One. Ooh, that ball is spinning. Yes. And I'm about to share my screen so you, everybody can see the highest scoring routine in the entire European Championship. <laughs> Alida yeah, she's she's become so mature. A real battle on. I love this. The starting position is crazy. I love it. And a back walkover balancing a linked club. With the clubs. It's in her hands now. She can put the pressure on Ashram. I, I love this. Ay, yeah, she yes. added that. Like that right is such a cool 
element. I love how she bounces it and then flicks it up with her foot. You know, she fell out of uh, yeah. that same turn on a lot of different routines. Mm -hmm. It's it's that Timoshenko spin. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll have to ask Sam what he thinks. Mm. And that could have been what did her in because according to Sam, it was 0.5 difference in execution between her and Lenoy. She did have right here, she was like, yeah. Yes. Well, I oh. did it. Yeah. Yep. She yeah. did it. Yeah. She has nothing to be ashamed of. It yeah, she right, did so yeah. well, especially especially having been the number three gymnast in Belarus for so long. And yeah, she's, but she's so young. It's like yeah, she's yeah. still super young. She's still coming super. into it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Realizing well, life is getting hard and she's getting that like yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> and, and she's at that level where the other Belarusian gymnasts are going to be trying to take her top spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. And it's, it's a cool position to be in. And um, I remember Alina Kabayeva saying that Irina Wiener told her that the stars have one privilege and that's to work hard. Uh. <laughs> and, yeah. And I, I know that's, that's a, Definite testament to Harnashko's hard work. She has been working her butt off, and now she's become the star of Belarus. So, very, very proud of that. But speaking of the top star, Miss Linoy Ashram, we are going to show you her hoop routine because. Oh my gosh, yes, please. It was what she ended on, and this is what we're going to be ending on. So, oh, yeah. pull that up. All right, finishing up with Miss Linoy Ashram's hoop routine i'm super excited about this because it was they they were were they tied they were tied the third rotation or were they tied after the fourth rotation i can't remember but yeah it was a nail biter because nobody really knew if she could score high enough to like overtake our nashko and she didn't overtake her nashko she tied her, about her so. teammate, okay Ashram. How do you catch this? How do you do this? I don't, it, I don't know. The what? How do you I mean, do what? Rhythmic gymnastics. It's oh, just, <laughs> yes. I mean, it's right. just, this hoop routine is spectacular. Yes. The catches. I. She's only really did one catch with her hand. Right? Oh my gosh. That roll and that oh, jump. jump. Yeah. And staying right up on Releve. Oh my gosh. And then this four turning split leaps right here. Packing in that difficulty. <laughs> yes, there's that walkover you're talking about. Watch the catch. Oh, oh, love that. You know, I took that risk out of my routine last season. <laughs> There's that isolation with that hoop. I know. It's this catch right here. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Completely stretched arm. <laughs> and this catch. Woo. Yeah. Keep spitting it on her foot. Keeps it moving. I wonder what she's thinking. I'm sure she's she like on autopilot. She definitely performed to win. It, it wasn't she wasn't performing to not lose. Oh. I mean, no. She fought. She was fighting for every element and just uh, the aggressiveness that she had. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. There's our all-around champion, everybody. So proud of her. I think Lino really deserved to win because um, 
even though I love Harnasco, she did have a lot of kind of missed trajectories and extra steps catching her apparatus, and Lenoir yeah. did, did, really did not. Um, yeah. But I'm so happy that European Championships happened in general. Yes, yes, especially with everything that's going on in the world. <laughs> yeah. There's Salo. Hey, girl. We're just going to do a little bit of highlights of the medal ceremony because you can tell Alina was not really that happy and then she like gave <laughs> Salos a high five a social distancing high five yeah <laughs> and then she did the live long and prosper <laughs> is that what it is yeah like Spock from Star Trek is our European champion Yay! And then even, yeah, even she smiled at um, Arnashko, which I, I'm guessing that Arnashko like acknowledged her, so she wasn't a poor sport about it. And I love this that they grabbed their own medals, their their own sanitized medals, and put it on their own. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So lucky I wasn't there because I would have grabbed them all. So right here, I was so excited to see giving um that's maria petrova oh hey girl yes love your 96 rope i know which simona pecheva used for her club's routine in 2004. i know uh, love that which i still cannot find that piece of music wherever wherever it is i can't find it either yeah the first time the Israeli anthem was played for gold medalists and individual all around, but it was what I think the second time that they played the Israeli anthem at this arena, because the day before the group won in the all around. She looks like Courtney Cox. Oh, that Lenoy does. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can kind of see it. I think. <laughs> no, you I'm, agree. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. So Lenoy Ashram could be Monica from Friends. <laughs> totally. Yes. Wow, that was a great European championship. It was. And I'm just so bummed that there's no apparatus finals, but I, I guess they're just trying to, you know, keep it as minimal as possible. Even though the the juniors had no all around, but they did have an apparatus finals. And the groups had only seniors compete, and they had uh, all around and apparatus finals. <laughs> um, gave some some good opportunities for the group gymnasts for sure. But that concludes our coverage of our European Championships. We're so proud of all of the champions. All of the gymnasts have worked so hard, especially in this crazy, crazy year, and. Yeah, just a huge shout out to all of them for working their butts off and building on that momentum towards Tokyo 2020. Hopefully, um, the next big tournament will be December 3rd, the RG online tournament in, well, basically held over Zoom. So everybody's just going to be watching over Zoom. And yeah, we'll get some coverage from there as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Our social media handles uh, for Instagram are going to be right there at the bottom. Don't forget that we love you all and have a great rest of your week, everybody. We'll see y'all for the third online Rhythmic Gymnastics International Tournament. Bye.